Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Story Dude. I'm your host, uh, Bertie Smidgerson. Today, we're going to dive right into some of the top quality content and discussions happening on the internet today. My 24 male wife, 24 female, earns more than twice than what I earn. Hmm. That's great, man. Congratulations. Hi, everyone. I'm in a wonderful relationship with my wife, and we are almost two years married. My only concern is that she earns significantly more than me, and I feel pressure to progress my career to match her earnings. She is extremely ambitious and career-driven. To be fair, she doesn't mind being the main provider in the house, and neither do I. But you don't. However, with such a large disparity, and especially now that we are considering buying a house, I feel guilty about not contributing as much as her. I get angry to myself about it. Is there anyone in a similar situation who could give me advice on how to deal with this? Hmm. I think this is a really, uh, like a really interesting question. What I find interesting is it seems that all the pressure is coming from within himself. He's not mentioning that his wife is complaining about him or su even suggesting that he do something more. And uh, there's no references to his friends or colleagues or anything like that. So... What I would say is just, just, just relax, man. It's fine. You know, no one's putting pressure on you. Don't put pressure on yourself. But let's see what the community has to say about it. If she doesn't mind, then you shouldn't either. Exactly. The idea that you have to absolutely make more than your wife is old news. Your wife is a hard worker and happy to help provide for both of you. Sounds like you have a great wife. Agreed. But I think you should definitely keep an eye out for, uh, for signs that, that something could be wrong, you know? As uh, Bobby Womack said once, you know, do the things that put a smile on her face. Because if you don't, you might find a tear trace, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you gotta make sure that there is not some underlying issue that you're not noticing. That's part of your job as husband or a partner in general. It's read between the lines. I'm the main breadwinner in my marriage, and I want my spouse to be happy with what she is doing for work. I don't care how much or how little she makes. Yeah, that's another thing, OP, is you didn't mention, what are you doing? I mean, if you're happy with your career, then, you know, I think that you wouldn't be asking yourself these questions if you, if you were happy in your career. Maybe this is, this is a sign that you need to con reconsider what you're doing. Who cares? Just enjoy it, lol. <laughs> LOL. Lol. Do you say LOL or LOL? Never. It's about time I learned that. It's been like 25 years. Her success is team marriage success. Don't let a competitive spirit enter your marriage. It's corrosive. I would also add like, just from my experience, you don't want things to become too transactional. I don't like this idea of like, you know, I took care of the kids on Monday, so you got to do it on Tuesday kind of thing. Because when you try to like make ledgers of who does what in a relationship, you always lose track because it's not objective. Each person thinks that they're doing more. So anyway, that's just like my, my <laughs> unsolicited advice here is, uh, yeah, don't think about it. Anyway, do bring, your best to, do bring your best to your marriage. Do strive to be the best version of yourself. But that doesn't have to be money. It can be art or understanding of philosophy or bring great at your sport or musical instrument. Or let's be honest, being an absolute amazing lover. You know, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> She's being her best self, supposedly, and you be your best self. And then both of you can be proud of each other. That's, this person is definitely single. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If she isn't bothered by it, then don't put so much pressure on yourself. I agree. The weird questions, but, you know, I'm grateful for these questions. It gives us something to talk about together and... Uh, I just want to wish all of you a great day and we'll catch you again for another edition of Story Dude here on YouTube. Peace out, everybody.